Hello beautiful Aquarians. This is Robin from Robin's Realm Readings. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if this season change or what this deal is, but sure is messing with my throat. Um, okay, you guys. Uh, you're like the, the planetary changers. You're the movers and shakers who have all the great ideas and very special. Um, I came to you to tell you that this is a general love reading for you for the last half of April. And I've, this is Mercury retrograde for two more days. So, you know, starting up a site and managing it and downloading has been a trip. I've just had so many challenges. But it's not going to stop me because I'm here to bring you guys information from the spirit realm, from the energies and ethers. I have information for you. I don't know. These are general, so not every bit of it's going to apply to every one of you. You've made choices in your life. You're in different places. But there's a general energy for Aquarians. And we're going to look into it. What I'm going to do for you guys for the last half of April. So consider it a two-week reading. I'll catch you up in May, okay? I'll get you a whole month going. I'm going to start with two cards from the Good to Row. And I'm going to do a Lover's Path for you. Lover's Path covers all four elements of your existence. I've already shuffled these. I'm going to give them three more for you. This, this is kind of heavy card stock. I kind of find it annoying. But I love these cards. They're bright. They're beautiful. And the meanings have been given a much uh, higher perspective outlook, which is what? you guys represent is the higher perspective outlook i like that very much thank you for being you uh, aquarians who tend to have a tendency to like shake things up um go about things in a different manner you do not i don't know about you guys you must you just like to call things as they are and if anything gets in your way you just get rid of it here we go the first card representing your major energy for the next two weeks is the eight of coins i'm using a new camera so please forgive if you can't see it well the eight of coins is um, hard work dedication whatever it is that you this is an earth that represents pentacles <clears throat> finances and stability and relationships and projects whatever it is you're doing the rest of this month, Aquarians, looks like you're going to keep doing it because this is a determination to stick with what you're doing. It obviously works for you. The other card to represent your energy is Divine Sight. You have the Sun card. The Sun is reflecting everything. It brings everything out into the clear. You're going to have a very clear month. At least towards the after Mercury um, goes direct in two days, watch. Watch and see what happens in your introspection, in your mind, in your spirit, and in your working. It's very good for you. I don't see any problems. Um, this shows all the possibilities to you. It's divine light. And you all have it. I'm going to set those right there. So what I'm going to do is also bring you in two cards for your the four elements, which are cups, wands, uh, stabs, rods, you know, energy, swords, and then, uh, of course, pentacles. And what I've done is I've divided them up to be more um, like your heart, your soul, your mind, and your physical space. So let me go ahead and pull these for you. On top of that, you're going to get two for each. But you're also going to get a major arcana for each one of them, which is like the major energy for that. So it'll kind of round it off and make sense to you guys, all right? You're so... I know. I hear the song, I love to change the world, but I don't know what to do. So I'm leaving it up to you. That's some song I'm getting for you guys. I don't know. I guess I'm going to start singing in my videos. That was so much fun. All right, loves. I'm going to take it from here. 
See what you get in your heart space. You know what I love about shuffling? I can do it in both hands. I'm not as good, though, with the other hand. Okay, here we go. One more for you. I'm going to pull your heart space cards, and then I'll flip them over and tell you what you got. What's going on with you? Your soul, your mental, and your physical. I'll also pull your major arcana right now to go with those as well. Okay. Energy, spirits, guides, universe, understanding, sacred knowledge, wisdom, archangels, my divine guides, your divine guides, be with me so that I can read this to you and tell you what they want you to know for this next two weeks, at least. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, heart, soul, mind, body. Let's tend to that. First, we're going to start with this. Whoa, hello. Flipped up on my guitar. Mm, sorry. My guitar is right here. Of course. Multi-talented people do many things, and that would be me. I'm just all over. All right, here you go. <clears throat> I love the back of these cards, by the way. The two hearts and the crowns and the wings. That's so cool. Your heart space is so good. You have so much to give to big people and uh, it's yeah it's a kind of it's so nice that you have this youthful energy about you your cup is full of um possibilities and you really do have a lot of love to bring to the world let's see what complimentary card that is too you got the two of coins maybe you're trying to decide on how to love somebody or Maybe you have more than one love interest. Um, you know, uh, not a good idea to play people against one another. You guys should know that, not to do that. You have this love to give. I'm going to say to the world, but it might be very private because this is your love rating. These are general ratings, you guys. There are thousands and thousands of Aquarians who might see this. And that means... This may not be you choosing. This may be you. Um, the two of coins is a balancing act. It's like you're trying to say, how do I love myself more and love you as well? It's easy. You have the youthful energy of the cups. The major energy for that is the wheel of fortune. So you you have to be very careful with this decision with your heart space. The wheel of fortune it applies to everyone. I always say it, um, what goes up must come down. What goes in must go out. Uh, you're going to have to decide. Take it day by day, you guys, because some days you're up and some days you're down. As for the next two weeks, I'd say set your heart on things above so you're not disappointed by the things below on the earth. All right. Let's see what your soul tells us. Man, look at that. Oh, the Ace of Ace of Wands is a brand new energy. You guys are very youthful right now. I'm really liking that. Here's what we have. Oh, the Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands is a gift from the divine. It's a new energy for you. You're good for us. I'm enjoying your company in my space, in my realm. Aquarians, you're good for us. You have these new ambitions. You have always coming up with something new. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's all new ideas and new new perspectives and passions. Follow that. Let's see where it leads you. Oh, mm, okay. Here's the thing. Recently, you guys have had some kind of a shock. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Everyone is different. I know someone who has gone through a great trial with something he's built very big on, and I love him for that. Uh, the universe is due support. Let's find out. This is like a heartbreak card. Uh, somehow you've been hurt, but you're coming out of it. It's in reverse. You're coming out of the hurt. Your soul is healing with this brand new venture you have going on. It's new. And take. Hey, this is what I like about being a reader is that. Each reader interprets these things their own way, but you have the privilege to reinvent yourself. 
to lift yourself back up out of disappointing circumstances and events. You guys can do it. You the mind. So you have grace. All right. You have divine you have divine light. This is the star card. The star card means that you're completely blessed right now by the divine if you connect to it. You must do meditation and prayers. Uh, connect with the divine so that you can um, get past the heartbreak and, and, and establish and implement this. It is who you are. And you have... This is major beautiful... Um, you see the doves? They're doves. This represents, I've heard that this is um, divine knowledge. The star card is absolute clarity. You have the sun and the star. And look, you're going to get through this, you guys. Stick to what you know to do for sure. Keep your mind bright, your eyes focused on what is right for you. In your mental space, you've got the seven of arrows, and somehow you feel like you fought a battle and you didn't win, um, because somewhere here is the aggressive kind of holding back. Someone's not laying down all their cards. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you've laid down all your cards. They didn't like what you had to say. Okay, that's just a perspective. Sometimes this can seem to be seen as deceit, Aquarians. To complement that card in your mental space is the Princess of Swords. Whoa, you guys. Okay, this is a, a court card, but she's young. And she brings a message, brings insight, brings wisdom. You know you have a lot of answers. You know y'all are very psychic. You're very special. You got your own card. The star card is for Aquarius. You have your own card to bring this message. You know you're thinking things over. But the youthfulness of the princess is more like a message it's not like a, be careful that you're not coming on too fast with your, don't go too fast with your knowledge. Somehow I'm told to tell you to get a plan of action going, people. Uh, write these things down. Plan it out. Mm, write down what's on your mind. Write down what's going on. Somehow log it, keep, create, keep track. So that you can be blessed by the sun. Somehow I'm being told maybe YouTube videos. Just like this. But in your own format. Whatever it is that you're doing. The major energy for that is transformation. The death card. So whatever it is that you've gone through men mentally. Whatever it is you're trying to, trying to bring to the world mentally. You're going to have to understand that there's other ways to do it. You have to understand that. Please look at the all the options. You, it's not my way or the highway. You only have a perspectives, but you have universal perspectives, and I appreciate you for that. You must know that sometimes we have to be, something has to be shook up. This is a death card, but it doesn't necessarily mean death. It means transformation. So people, understand, you have to change the way you think. How you're presenting your issues to the world. Your two great big challenges and how to change the world. And in your physical space, what's going on with you is you're having a hell of a time deciding what to do with what you have. Seven of Cups is... Uh, man, how do I say this? So which one are you going to choose? What are you going to choose for yourself? There are so many options for you right now. You have the star card, your own card to help you choose. You have the sun shining in on dark places. Do not worry. Stick to your guns. You have divine protection, divine light, divine guidance. Um, so you have to stop being wishy-washy. You're going to have to choose what's best for you. The Earth card of Eight of Coins. What is best for you? 
All right. What complements that is the the four of wands. So in your space, you really have the natural element of rejoicing and joy and happy. You just want to be happy. You want that fulfillment of achievement. This is the marriage card. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're trying to decide what to do. Um, this is joy and celebration and balance. The four of fire in your space. That's amazing. So something is coming about to bring you re rejoicing because you're working hard. You're changing the way you think about it. You know you have new energy to uh, in your soul. Mm, this fire in your soul. And no matter what heartbreak comes your way, you're going to be just fine with it. In your space, you have the eight again. This is a major arcana. This is uh, represents the Leo energy. So there might be a Leo in your space. I don't know. Um, it could be. This is also Capricorn energy. This is also Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Building on something. You are given the strength to change, to make up your mind. Please make up your mind where you're going. All right. And who's going to be in your space? How are you going to present your wonderful ideas? This new ideas that you have that you've transformed your mind for. This is completely up to you, loves. Uh, don't be wishy-washy. Make your mind up. Stay in a place where you find joy. And of course, divine, connect with the divine. You're going to have to in order to go through this transformation. In order to revive your soul so that you're purely in your own element. We like your element. But you guys come out with great ideas and new ways of doing things. You have been given and blessed the strength to do it. Tame the beast within. Watch what you say and how you say it. Know that you can be renewed from any kind of disappointment. And know that you have choices. Keep yourself in balance. Keep your heart in check. And know that you are love. It's youthful love. It's the cup is full. This guy's presenting his gift. So you have this interesting energy here of the princess of wands, which corresponds with your soul. And then you have the prince of cups. Similar energies. The prince is more advanced. He knows what he's doing. And I'm going to pull an Archangel Oracle card for you guys. Let me go get those. I guess I put them up. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I did that. Where did I put those? Hmm. Miss Robin, where are your Archangel cards? I've never been so inept. That's weird. Hmm. What did I do with those? I know I played with them. Here they are. You guys, I've been making bags. I've been making Tarot bags. I will be giving one away. After I get a thousand subscribers, I will be giving one away. Here's your Archangel Oracle card. Archangel Oracles. We're talking the Archangels. You have your own angels. Um, the star card represents ancestors, the seven sisters. It represents spirit guides. It represents angels. So, hey, you guys are... are you have um, sacred ancient knowledge with you as well, I'm hearing. Sacred ancient knowledge that you bring to this planet at this time. Unlike anyone else, if you're not frivolous and careless with how you treat other people and how you present your issues and ideas, you will be very, very happy and success. And why can't you just achieve balance with all this strength? All these changes with the grace and the sun, determination. You just need to achieve balance. And let's see what the archangels say to you. Which one of these angels is with you? I would like to know. Which one of the angels? Archangels of the living God, let's say. I don't know. Y'all don't have to be religious. I'm not particularly religious, but I do have many beliefs and many faiths that have helped me through my hardships and my life, which have brought me to this one conclusion. Grace, light, power, love, ambition. 
I'm not going to stop for anybody because I want to bring you guys love and I want to know where our thing is going to inspire you for the rest of this month. So let's see what you get. This one. All right, honey. Here's what you're being told, and that makes perfect sense with your mental space being the way that it is. The uh, Princess of, of Swords, which represents mental thoughts. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it represents you. It's your own stuff. How to transform and choose what to do. So you're being told by Archangel Metatron, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized. Oh, I'm going to put that right here. I hope you can see it well. I'm learning how to work with my table and cards and all that. So here's your message. Beautiful Aquarians. All right. Here's your message, loves. <clears throat> I'm first going to read you what who Metatron is. You need to know. If you're familiar with the Kabbalah, you'll know that in metaphysics, that Metatron is the angel that is at the top of the Kabbalah. He resides over the mental space, the spiritual mental space. He's an archangel by choice. Like the one of the highest ascended masters. So understand that you're being hugely blessed here. Um, girl. All right. Here's what it says for you. Metatron, understanding Metatron, all right? Metatron is one of the two archangels who once walked upon earth as human men. The other one is Sandalfin. By the way, Sandalfin is mine. Metatron was the prophet and scribe Enoch, who ascended after his exemplary earth life. This is interesting. He continues working as a scribe and a record keeper in heaven. He helps people develop organizational and record keeping skills as well. Remember I said YouTube or writing down or keeping track, logging your new thoughts. When you call upon Metatron, he motivates you to organize your priorities. The message he brings you is, what's your calling? What makes your heart sing? When you focus on these areas, your joyful energy, your joyful energy increases celebration. You deserve it, which benefits everyone. Take charge of your schedule and spend more time on projects and activities close to your precious heart projects and activities of course what is it you're working on make choices that honor your priorities and support your life's mission there it is your life's mission i want to tell you i love you aquarians i love your expansive mind and just a little tip I found out because I've had some past life experiences of my own without the assistance of a journeyman. By going within, recognizing soul, retrieving soulful parts that have been lost. Okay? I learned that I'm an, I was Aquarian. I was very gifted and psychic, intuitive in a past my past existence. I too suffered heartbreak. But I was allowed to come back so I could do this for you. So I want to tell you that Everyone reads cards differently. The card, the meanings of the cards are only, they always stay the same, the energy of the card, but they're adjusted to your reading, what's coming up for you. And I, I am Robin's Realm, and I do my readings for you. I want you to know that if you, this resonates, you enjoy it, you like me, feel free to contact me at Robin's Realm Readings, one word, Robin's Realm realm readings at gmail if you want a reading i'd love to do a personal one for you help see where you're navigating to and what can help you in your personal experience we can do any kind of a reading i am not stuck on this but i love this so i'm going to do this for a while till i establish my channel even more but i want to tell you guys immediately right now create what you want keep track of it call on metatron you have passion you have grace. You have the sun. You have projects. You have insights. You have spiritual knowledge that other people don't necessarily tap into. And you have a grander picture of things. And for that, I love you. Blessings from Robin's Realm to my beautiful Aquarians. Thank you so much for watching my 
channel like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Blessings. Until May. Bye.